In the quiet suburb of Brookville, nestled within the comforting glow of computer screens, a sinister presence lurked in the shadows of cyberspace. Fifteen-year-old Emily had always been an introverted girl, finding solace in the digital realm where she could escape the complexities of high school life. However, her sanctuary was soon invaded by the venomous tendrils of cyberbullying. It all began innocently enough, with a few snide remarks on Emily's Instagram posts. At first, she brushed them off, attributing them to the typical teenage banter. But the comments grew increasingly malicious, targeting her appearance, her hobbies, and even her academic achievements. Each hurtful word was like a dagger to Emily's fragile self-esteem, chipping away at her confidence with every keystroke. Unable to confide in her parents or teachers out of fear of making matters worse, Emily suffered in silence, her once vibrant spirit now eclipsed by a shadow of self-doubt. She spent countless sleepless nights scrolling through hurtful messages, tears staining her cheeks as she grappled with the relentless onslaught of cyberbullying. As the torment intensified, Emily's grades began to slip, her once bright future dimming with each passing day. The taunts followed her everywhere, infiltrating her social media accounts, her emails, and even her online gaming sessions. Despite her efforts to block the perpetrators, they always found new ways to torment her, their virtual attacks growing more sophisticated and insidious with each passing day. Desperate for reprieve, Emily turned to online forums and support groups, seeking solace in the shared struggles of fellow cyberbullying victims. Through the anonymity of the internet, she found a glimmer of hope amidst the darkness, connecting with others who understood her pain in ways no one else could. Slowly but surely, Emily began to reclaim her voice, channeling her pain into activism and advocacy for cyberbullying prevention. She spoke out against the silent epidemic that had plagued her life, urging lawmakers and tech companies to take action against online harassment. Her impassioned plea caught the attention of local media outlets, sparking a wave of public awareness and support for her cause. Empowered by the outpouring of solidarity, Emily found the strength to confront her tormentors head-on, exposing their cruelty for the world to see. With each revelation, the veil of anonymity that had shielded her attackers began to unravel, their identities laid bare for all to witness. Some were shocked by the revelation, while others remained unrepentant, their callousness serving as a chilling reminder of the dangers lurking behind the screen. But for Emily, the journey was far from over. Though scars of cyberbullying would always linger, she refused to let them define her. With newfound resilience and a renewed sense of purpose, she vowed to continue fighting for a safer, kinder online world, where no one would have to endure the pain she had endured. As the sun set over Brookville, Casting a warm glow over the quiet suburb, Emily closed her laptop with a sense of closure. 
Though the scars of cyberbullying would always linger, she knew that she was not alone, and that together, we could build a brighter, more compassionate future, one keystroke at a time.